Hello, friends and enemies, and welcome back to the first chapter Explorers Club. Uh, I, it's kind of, my, my week is kind of hectic right now. I'm about to release a book and then immediately go out of town. Um, so, yeah, just recording this episode. <laughs> I want to get this out um, when I scheduled it to go out. Um, and then there's also going to be a bonus episode this week for my book that's releasing. But I'm going to try and shove all that news to the end so that we can dive into this new story. This book is Agent X Dark Descent by Nightman Sid on Wattpad. It is an action-adventure book. And let's take a look at this description here. Two years ago, life was simple. But that all changed when a teenager gets taken from his home against his will, from an agent only to be brainwashed and genetically enhanced, turning him into a killing machine codenamed Agent X. On the run, desperate to find answers to his past, Agent X encounters a slew of enemies at every corner and uncovers a conspiracy that runs deep within the agency's sinister plot to take out specific targets. It is up to Agent X to stop them at any cost or die trying. Sweet! Sounds like we've got a genetically enhanced, super-powered, possibly, teenager story, which I'm a big fan of. That was, like, um, one of the first stories I ever wrote was also, you know, teenager superpowers, government conspiracy, so... The genre kind of holds a special place in my heart, and I'm excited to read this. Let's see here. Oh, hi. My bad. Sorry. I forgot about the content warnings, which I think the author said there aren't any, but allow me to double check. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The story is almost complete, and it's usually updated at least once a week on Saturdays. Um, story is safe. Doesn't contain anything too explicit. No explicit sex scenes. Um, it's just straight-up action with mild violence. Okay. The shed. I have to Google how to pronounce a name? Should have put in a pronunciation guide in the form the first time. Google is not giving me results. Okay, so... The Shed? I don't want to mispronounce this name, and this is, again, I mentioned this in the first episode. I didn't put in a pronunciation guide, and I should have. Um, so the author, if you listen to this, you are more than welcome to correct me in the comments. Please do if I mispronounce this character's name. I'm gonna go with the shed. I tried googling to see if there's like a pronunciation guide for this name, and I couldn't find anything. So let's do this. All right, chapter one. In an underground facility of Washington, D.C., the Shed Harvester had a propensity of being vain and shady. He was known for his illegal, underhand deception of the government that turned him into a pariah. He bragged about being a former arms dealer to one of the leaders of a shadow agency, identified as Raven. The Shed was also responsible for the abduction, along with crude experiments on innocent civilians, and training and development of young, skillful assassins. Night or day, he would employ them to carry out hits on marks that required elimination without question, no matter who that target was. The day had come for him to move on to bigger and better projects. Destroy all the backup files and the hard drives. I don't want any trace of us being here, DeShed said, walking out the door of Raven headquarters in his dark, dignified suit with a black tie. His bald head turned, glaring at the scientist. Project Dark Descent must be erased immediately. Five scientists began to scramble the computer hardwares with a modified Trojan virus that was uploaded into the system, disposing evidence of their unethical experiments. Twenty-two surveillance cameras in each room were turned off. The Shed walked out of the room in his dark suit, his brown eyes glaring at the silver control panel while entering his three-digit pin. He applied a retina scan. The Shed Harvester, access granted. The door opened. And what about Agent X? One scientist asked, shredding pages of documents and photos while leaning on a black table. The Shed gripped his hand on his shoulder. Leave him, Nelson. We got what we came for. Security will take care of him and the others. Yes, Mr. Harvester. Nelson got up from the chair, feeling guilty for abandoning Agent X. Without anyone looking around, he pressed a button under a table, releasing Agent X and the others out of suspended sleep. The lights in the room grew dark. A young 18-year-old woke up in a room, sitting in a chair with no memory of his former life. He looked around, trying to get a sense of where he was. All that stood before him was two gigantic black steel doors, three steel tables, and two fans overhead. Two security officers, wearing dark uniforms, came in through the door with semi-automatic guns and started opening fire. 
The young man dived underneath a steel table for cover. He was breathing hard. One security guard gave the hand signal to the other to go ahead of him. Come out, Agent X. I can make this quick and easy. You won't feel a thing. One security guard pointed his weapon straight while walking slowly. Who am I? Why are you after me? Agent X asked. The guard moved closer. It's nothing personal, Agent X. The boss wants you terminated. The guard turned, seeing that Agent X wasn't by the table. Without being seen, Agent X pulled the plug on the circuit breaker that was near the wall as the lights went out. Instincts had taken over as Agent X's eyes were primed for night vision. He sneaked behind the first security guard from behind and put him in a chokehold, pulling him off the side out of sight into a dark corner. The security guard moved back against the wall, knocking down books as he struggled. The guard elbowed Agent X in the stomach, trying to break his hold. Agent X reached for his knife from the sheath by his waist of the first guard and placed the blade close to his neck as the guard struggled against Agent X's strength and slit his throat. Loud footsteps were heard from the hallway. Agent X reached for the first guard's gun and fired two shots to draw the attention of the second guard. The second guard paced in the direction of the gunfire, only to get a headshot as he fell to the side. Nothing personal. Agent X took hold of a semi-automatic and a walkie-talkie off the second guard's body while leaving the area. Deshed and Nelson were on the rooftop, waiting for the jet to arrive at the landing site. Nelson was more eager to vacate the facility. He tried everything he could to preserve what was left of Agent X's humanity, despite his superior's objection. Even though Agent X was a highly trained, brainwashed assassin sent on 124 missions that was programmed into his kill switch order, he was the best of the best, and there was no denying that. With all the kills he completed, Deshed saw Agent X as a weapon, and Nelson believed that Agent X could evolve to something more. Deshed felt the cold wind hit his face. Where's that jet? It should be here by now. Nelson checked his phone for the time. It should be here any moment. A gun clicked as Deshed felt a cold, metallic object press against his temple. Agent X, what a pleasant surprise. Deshed smirked, pressing the panic button from his phone. I wouldn't bother calling your men. They are dead. I want answers. Who am I? Why did you try to kill me? Don't kill him, Agent X, Nelson said. And why shouldn't I? Give me one good reason. Agent X had his finger, itching to pull the trigger. I want answers. Who am I? What did you do to me? Your past doesn't matter. You are a killer. That's all you need to know, Deshed said. Agent X pistol whipped him in the face with a gun. You want to play games? I can play too. I'm going to count to five and then I will shoot you unless you tell me who I am. Deshed rubbed his face in annoyance. It won't make any difference. You're just as good as dead. Agent X shot him in the arm. Who am I? Deshed moaned, gripping his right arm in pain. I should have killed you a long time ago. A mistake that must be rectified. I changed my mind. I'm not going to count to five. If you don't tell me what I want to hear, the next bullet will go right between your eyes. Deshed laughed at him. <laughs> you think killing me will make a difference? Our organization is everywhere. Agent X hit him in the head with the gun. What organization? Who am I? Agent X, you don't have to do this. You're better than this. Deep down, you know it's true, Nelson said, trying to appeal to his humanity. How do you know? Do you know who I am? Agent X asked. If you know something, tell me. Deshed frowned. Don't you dare tell him, Nelson. Agent X whipped Deshed again, breaking his nose. Your name is... Nelson got shot in the chest as he went down, and Agent X got shot in the shoulder by a sniper as he ducked for cover. Deshed ran behind the door for cover. Agent X peeked his head before more shots were fired to get a sense of the shooter's location until he spotted a building adjacent to him. He fired his gun at the sniper as he moved, keeping low toward Nelson. Reach for my pocket, Nelson said in a barely audible tone. Agent X reached for his lab coat pocket, pulling a small piece of white paper with an address on it. You will find answers there. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for what we did to you. Nelson reached for his hand with a smile as blood flowed out of his mouth. Nelson took his last breath. Agent X took the paper and started booking for the exit door. It's over, Agent X, you're dead, Deshed said. At the right angle, Agent X fired his gun at the sniper, almost clipping him like an annoying pest. The sniper hissed in anger, gritting his teeth as he took cover and returned fire, missing Agent X. Agent X sprinted, running down the stairs and taking the nearest shallow elevator near the corner to the basement level. His heart pumped faster, his lips arid. He hoped to escape the place to find a bottle of water to make up for his perspiration and sweat from his body. He 
picked up pace, running outside the parking lot. Another gun was fired behind Agent X as he flipped and got his back, leaning on the side of the car. He watched from the side view mirror and arched his arm at his attacker, who wore camouflage, returning fire. The attacker took cover with hatred in his brown eyes. There is no escape, Agent X. I am here to replace you. He fired more shots. Admit it. I have always been better than you. I don't want to fight you. Too bad. A female driver, with red hair and blue eyes, sped fast in the direction of the attacker as he opened fire at the blue 2020 Hyundai Sonata hybrid vehicle. The attacker got out of the way, pulling up in front of Agent X, opening the door. Get in. Agent X jumped inside the passenger side, closing the door. The car took off in a hurry. The attacker fired his gun at the car. He cursed under his breath. He called the shed. We have a problem. Agent X has escaped. That's unacceptable, Agent L. Find Agent X and destroy him. I don't care how you do it. Get it done. Yes, sir. He won't be a problem, Agent L said, cracking his neck on the side and hanging up his cell phone. Who are you? Why did you save me? Agent X inquired. I think we lost them. Well, how about thanks for saving my butt back there, she said sarcastically, checking his front view mirror, peering to see if they were followed. And to answer the question, I'm one of the scientists that designed your weapon simulation exercise. You can call me Casey. Nelson, my lab partner, specialized in the genetic engineering of your body. He's dead, Agent X said with a deadpan expression. That jerk, she said, while keeping her eyes from sobbing and focusing on the road. He didn't deserve to go out like that. Do you know where I can find Lakewood Drive? He told me that I would find answers there. Yeah, I know where that is. I can take you where you need to go. And we got company. Five black vehicles picked up speed, one of them shooting at Agent X and Casey. Get down! Casey placed her head down, her eyes still on the road as the bullets breached through the back window, her body trembling from the gunshots as she feared for her life. Agent X placed a new clip in his gun in a calm manner, sizing up his competition. You keep driving. I'll deal with the party guest. Oh, wait, I know that person. Sorry, I opened the comments and recognized a commenter. That's cool. Um... Anyway, that was chapter one of Agent X Dark Descent. Again, that is by Nightman Sit on Wattpad, and I will leave that link in the description. Um, if you are a writer, if you have your work online on Wattpad or any other site, or if you're self-published indie author, please feel free to use the form link in the description to submit your own story for First Chapter Friday. I mean, I've heard of the First Chapter Explorers Club. Jesus Christ, I know the name of my own podcast. <laughs> um... You know, um, we're just here trying to get some first chapters out there, connect people with readers. Um, I'm not really, I'm, um, I'm also on Wattpad, but I am leaving Wattpad to do self-publishing, um, which is why those two areas are kind of my focus for this podcast. But like I said, if your writing is anywhere to read online, if you're selling it yourself or it's free to read either way, you are more than welcome to submit and I will try to get to as many people as I can. Um, right now I'm doing every week, but as stuff comes up in my life, I may miss weeks here or there. But uh, I want to be as consistent about this podcast as I can. I'm also calling it a podcast. Um, so far, it's just these YouTube videos that are coming out to around 20 minutes. But um, if there's enough interest at some point, I might try and get it on like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But that's probably a ways away. Um, assuming I stick with it and we keep getting submissions. We'll see. Um, and then as I mentioned, I'm going to try to get up a bonus episode. I've already recorded me reading the first chapter of Plague Saint, which comes out June 1st. It already came out when this is uploading. I realized I recorded this early. It came out June 1st. Um, so I'm going to do an episode for that later this week if I have time to edit it before I go out of town. If not, it'll be the week I get back. Either way, though, you can go buy Plague Saint right now. Link's in the description. It is a dystopian, post-apocalyptic young adult about a girl who kills her city's plague doctor after realizing he's corrupt and then taking on and stealing his identity to save her family and try and figure out how to stop these plagues that are um, plaguing, for lack of a better word, her city. <laughs> I hate it here. There's a better description. Um, there's a better description in the description of that book. Anyway, thank you. Um, oh god, I meant to go back to his profile. 
Thank you, Nightman Sid, for your submission. Uh, thank you, everyone who is listening, for listening. And thank you, writers, for writing and putting your stories out in the world. Um, I think that's it for this episode. I gotta go. I got stuff to do. I'm so busy. I'm gonna cry. Uh, I feel like I had something else I actually needed to say, like some business stuff related to the podcast, but I cannot think of it, and if I think of it later, and I'm not going to have a chance to record before I have to put this episode up, I'll just throw it in the description or the comments or add it to the next episode I record. I'm talking so much and saying nothing. I think that's going to be it for this one. Um, so thank you for listening. Probably already said that too many times. I'm just rambling now. But thank you, and I will see you next week, probably. Bye!